Hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Today's video is going to be a gameplay video and I don't do many of these and I thought I need to play more games, I really do. I, most of my friends who don't even make games play games way more than I do. And so I wanted to do this a little bit more and hopefully it's going to be interesting and I'm going to try and talk a little bit maybe about the design or how the game was made if I can give some of that input. And so uh, this game that I'm looking at right now that you can see on screen is called V or I don't know, V, 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 whatever, however it was meant to be pronounced. But this game caught my eye because it was made by, um, uh, I think, one programmer who also did the artwork as well. And then just one guy for the music. So let's just jump in and, and start playing. And um, if I can figure out how to play, if I can remember, because I have played this before. Uh, I'm going to start a new game actually. Are you sure this will delete your current save? Yeah, that's fine. So I don't think I'm going to be able to play through all of this, guys. This, uh, I'm, I'm only going to play, like, say, 10 or 15 minutes, but I think it's a, this is a great game straight up and I definitely recommend it already. So, uh oh. Is everything okay? No, we hit some kind of interference. Something's wrong, we're going to crash. Evacuate! Oh no! Everyone off the ship! This shouldn't be happening. I love the style of this game. This game kind of takes me back a little bit to Commodore 64. The Commodore 64 days. A uh, few that was scary. At least uh, we all escaped. Right guys? Nobody's there. Guys? And <laughs> he's sad. <laughs> Press arrow keys or WASD. Alright, so the controls are real simple on this. Uh, I'm just using A and D on my keyboard. I, I did have my Xbox controller hooked up to this like just last week and I tried to do it now but it didn't work. The cool thing is um, about the mechanic in this game is it's a little different to what I've seen before and, and it's something pretty new and it's a great platform, challenging platform or platform puzzler or something. But you change gravity by pressing your action button and then you just move left and right. So there's no jump, there's no weapons from what I've seen, and and it's. Uh, I'm just going to read this as we go. I wonder why the ship teleported me here alone. I hope everyone else got out okay. So this is a checkpoint. Um, so this the controls are really really simple, really really simple, uh, much simpler than my game Super Bit World, uh, because there's no jump and um, and there's no shooting at the moment. There's no weapons. But it's a very, very cool, addictive uh, little puzzle platform of this. Uh, the style-wise, uh, from what I quickly read about the developer, is that he was influenced by um, by Commodore 64 games, uh, and that was the kind of style that he was going for. So press en enter to activate terminal. Uh, personal log: Almost everyone has been evacuated from the space station now. The rest of us are leaving in a couple of days once our research has been completed. All right, cool. So we've got a bit of backstory here. I need to start adding some backstory to my games. Uh, this game I'm playing on a Mac at the moment. I'm playing on my Mac, and it was $2.99, I think, or $1.99 to download from the Mac App Store. So definitely worth every penny, and it's a premium, a premium purchase. There's no in-app purchases here. So from what I read, the developers really going for a pure ex gaming experience here. There's no sort of you get to level 10 and then you have to unlock things or anything like that. So, uh, ah, sorry, I missed that text. Please, can you help us? We've crashed and need assistance. Hello, anyone out there? This is Dr. Violet from the DS. Ah, that was too fast. Please, anyone? So it's a distress call. Please be all right, everyone. Help, can anyone hear this message? Uh, okay, are you out there? Are you okay? I think this is gonna, re okay, yeah, so that's gonna repeat that message. Violet, is that you? Captain, you're okay. Something has gone horribly wrong with the ship's teleporter. I think everyone has been teleported away randomly. This could be anywhere. Oh no! I'm on the ship. It's damaged badly, but uh, it's still intact. Where are you, Captain? I'm on a sort of space station. It seems pretty modern. There seems to be some sort of interference in this dimension. Okay, so here we got our map screen as well. So this this is this is comes very useful in this game. I'm broadcasting the coordinates of the ship to you now. Alright, so that's our ship. I can't teleport you back, but if you can find a teleporter anywhere nearby, you should be able to teleport back to me. 
Okay, I'll try to find one. Good luck, Captain. I'll try. I'll keep trying to find the rest of the crew. All right, so let's continue on our mission. Uh, you can see that the sprites and the animation in this game are super simple, and the tiling as well that we've got around this game um, is also extremely simple. And this could be played on a very old system. Uh, and I think it, it's, you know, for gamers like myself who who grew up with, like, say the the Sinclair or the Commodore 64, really get a strong nostalgic feeling playing this game. You know, it does remind us of, um, you know, the good old days or whatever. But the design is, is really very, very cool. It's amazing to think that just one guy made this. Uh, oh, I wonder what that is. I uh, probably don't really need it, but it might be nice to take it and back to the ship to study. Okay, so let's go get the item. This part is tricky if I remember correctly. Oh God. Yeah, you'll die a lot in this game. A lot, a lot, really. <laughs> but that's okay. The good thing is about the design of this game is that the frustration level is really low. Now you can see that I just respawned, like, you know, almost exactly where I died. Uh, and the same thing was kind of done in, in games like Super Meat Boy. Oh! So it's really cool that we've got that checkpoint there. So it does have that hardcore factor to it uh, in terms of, like, it being difficult. But the frustration is low because you don't have to go all the way back to say, you know, the start of the game. Congratulations, you have found a shiny trinket. One out of 20. Okay, cool. So we definitely want to get this trinket or a few of them. I might as well just die. Yeah. There we go. And I got back there. This part here, they must have spent some time thinking about it because I, I really had like trouble uh, figuring this part out. Um, First time, first time I really had a lot of trouble. Um, but you have to go upside down on these platforms to get there. And it was just twisting my brain, but you get used to it after a few tries, you know? Uh, all, of, all of this artwork as well is all pixel art. Whoa, my god! It's like almost like a Pac-Man character. This is all pixel artwork and... Oh, no, no, no. But it's all in the same, you know the same style and um, you know I think the artwork itself was probably pretty fast to make um, but I think probably most of the time was actually spent um, perhaps testing the levels and just designing these different um, these different puzzles inside uh, which is really where the gameplay shines oh okay I missed that text sorry guys maybe you can pause and see it again I love these characters as well, there's just like a ghost and there's something that said yes before and something that said, I don't know what the other one was, but just random numbers and things. A teleporter, if I get back to the ship with this, how did he say? I can, I can get back to the ship with this. So game save, press enter to teleport. Captain, level complete, boom. You have rescued a crew member, four remaining. So, Doctor, uh, have you any idea what caused the crash? There's some sort of bizarre signal here that's interfering with our equipment. It caused the ship to lose its quantum position, collapsing us into this dimension. Oh no! But I think we should be able to get fixed the ship and get out of here. Uh, as long as we can find the rest of the crew. Okay, cool. We really don't know anything about this place. Our friends could be anywhere, they could be lost or in danger. That guy's just falling forever, man. That reminds me of Portal. Can they teleport back here? Not unless they find some way to communicate with us. I love that back, that particle effect, that background that we've got here. Uh, we can't pick up their signal and they can't teleport uh, here unless they know where the ship is. So what what do we do? We need to find them, head out into the dimension and look, uh, look for anywhere they might have ended up. Alright, so we've got to find our crewmates. Okay, where to start? Well, I've been trying to find them with the ship's scanners. It's not working, but I did find something. Alright, yeah, so I remember this map screen. This really helps you out, guys, the map. Um, it can be quite a little bit disorientating where you're going, and it reminds me of um, the Labyrinth level on Revenge of Shinobi. So having a map screen is very useful. These points show up on our scans and have high energy patterns. There's a good chance they're teleporters, which means they're probably built near something important. They could be uh, they could be a very good place to start looking. Alright, so we're going to go to those places. 
Okay, I'll head out and see what I can find. I'll be right here if you need any help. Okay, kaboom. So let's go exploring. Like I said, the music is awesome. Uh, one of the things that I read about the composer of the music as well is that he actually used old equipment or used some like old software or something to produce the sort of chip tunes. I, I, I think that's what they're called when, you, when it's just made strictly from um, the synthesized sounds that come out of a, of a specific chip set. Um, so this is very like authentic in terms of it being a um, you know, sounding like old school, uh, and it, it's an awesome soundtrack. In fact, I believe there's been like covers of these songs, and there's been CDs, and you can download the really amazing soundtrack. So, hats off to the composer. It seems like a good place uh, to store those shiny things. Victoria loves to study the interesting things we find in our adventures. I hope she's okay. All right, let's fall down here. See what we've got. All right, was this where we went before? I can't remember if this was the teleporter. Uh, actually, let's go back this way. I think. Let's see what we've got over here, huh? Uh, whoa! Yeah, we just fall forever. So that's what this is where I say it's good that he got a map screen because it can be a little bit disorienting. Uh, and the cool thing is, you know, when you're designing games like this, which are hardcore, is you know definitely reduce that frustration level by oh, you know, not having. Uh, having the player to go back all the way to the start, you know, have it, uh, have a lot of checkpoints in there. Uh, and it seems games these days are just getting easier and easier. Like I was watching before, like the Super Mario World 3D, which is the new Mario game on Wii U. Uh, and it just looked like way easy compared to, you know, stuff that we might have played in the 80s or early 90s on Super Nintendo or Nintendo. Um, okay, so left and right to choose a teleporter and enter to teleport. So, actually, I don't want to go through there yet. I think I want to check this place out. Oh god, this part. Yeah, the tower. This is this is a good challenge. Um, very difficult. I died a lot of times on here. You can't go too high too fast because the spikes will appear, and you can't go. You can't stay low because. Ugh. There you go. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'm trying to talk and think at the same time and it's not really working. Ah, oh, I missed one of those trinket things. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Okay, let's just keep going. I'm just gonna keep going for you guys. Am I gonna make it? Oh, did I... I don't know if I got that checkpoint, but I got this one, so it's okay. And this particular track is absolutely amazing. Oh my god! I'd be very happy if this came out on mobile as well. At the moment, I think it's just on PC and Mac. Uh, available on Steam as well, and it's really cheap. I mean, $2.99 is uh, so worth it. Oof. Yeah, I've done this one before. It's, it's a lot harder than it looks. I'm actually doing okay at the moment. Uh, but this is a very, very indie-style game, and uh, it's the type of game that I really enjoy. Um, oof. My wife tried to play it and she hated it. She she hates these types of games. She said the artwork isn't cool. <laughs> and generally to a mass audience, uh, you know, in, in, in games, like uh, for larger teams or, uh, you, you know, you, you definitely want to, I think, put your money in games which um, are more mass appeal perhaps. Um, just because those types of games are more likely to make, you know, make a return on investment. Uh, whereas these types of games are very niche, but if you have a niche following, then then that's cool. Um, but I think it's kind of risky, uh, especially for larger studios, to do these types of games. Uh, there's no in-app purchases in this game either. There's no ads. It's just it's just a straight buy for $2.99 um, or $1.99 or however much it was now. Oh, uh, oh God! Okay, damn. This. Oh god! <laughs> I'll get it, guys. Don't worry. I'll get it. We love spikes in platforming games. Oh, there we go at the end. So that was get that checkpoint. This guy's sad, but he's happy now. Captain, I'm ever glad to see you. I thought I was all. I thought I was the only one to escape the ship. Uh, Vanillan, I knew you'd be okay. So what's the situation? I see. Well, we better get back then. There's a teleporter in the next room. 
seeing red. Alright, cool. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, because this video uh, might get too large for my computer, maybe. But definitely check it out. The name of the game is V. I hope this was interesting, a little bit useful, talking about design and just playing the game and listening to the music. It's, it's an amazing game. I totally recommend it. It is on Steam, I believe. I got this on the Mac App Store. Um, but uh, it's definitely worth it, and it's pretty cheap for what I got it, and it's probably this, a similar price at the moment. Anyway, guys, have a great weekend. Chat to you soon, and check out V. All right, take care. Bye.